So we are going to uh, get right on into this. We've already got the game running. And we're going to switch over to it. And what I'm doing is I am playing... Dun dun dun! The title is not up anywhere because I've already gotten past the title screen. I am playing The Climb 2, and I'm quickly going to grab... Uh, I'm quickly going to grab my polish cloth here to polish the lenses. Now I've got the thing on the head, which is all great. Uh, I'm playing on my Quest 2. We are in VR, in fact. Now, I have never played The Climb 2, not even once. In fact, this is the first time I've uh, booted it up, I guess, aside from... I may have booted it up to test that it was installed at one point, but that's about it. Now, I have played the original The Climb on this stream, um, this, but uh, I played that only semi-blind. I did have some accomplishments I'd never done before, so go see that theory. That was kind of fun. Um, but for me, um, the Quest 2 is completely new. There may be new mechanics. I haven't got the foggiest first clue. Uh, looks like there's some event stuff. That's kind of cool, so I guess they're keeping us up to date and and fresh. Uh, I'm going to be going for a, a fairly straightforward, uh, I don't know, single player experience without paying much attention to the target goals. And let's just do that. So we're going to go straight on to the tutorial. There's stuff here about menu navigation, hide the controller, toggle menu, and select. I guess we'll find all that out in the tutorial. So this is a mountain climbing game or a bouldering game or whatever you want to call it. It's a climbing game in VR, where I get to move around what will be my hands. Here we go, tutorial. Let's play the tutorial. This is good, because then I don't have to go into how to play the game, because we'll learn how to play the game. Um, all right. Hey there, welcome to the tutorial. First, we'll focus on climbing. Later, we'll talk about stamina and chalk. So, let's get started. Look up and find the flag. Flags mark checkpoints. I try to adjust the volume as I go, but I think my voice is coming through okay relative to the Look up the and find the flag. All right, look up and find the flag. Oh, there it is. Okay, to take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip trigger. Each controller maps directly to the hands you see. Okay, left and right trigger working. Now let's start climbing. Use the controls to grab and hold on to a grip. Okay, the recenter the camera thing looks like it might have changed. Back to your original position or recenter the camera. Recenter. Uh, that would be on. Uh, I think it's this controller. Is it? No, it's. Okay, gotta figure this out. I don't seem to be able to recenter the camera. <sighs> Rewind is not available, so I'm, I'm just testing all of my buttons. I don't seem to be able to recenter the camera. Um, how do I do this? That's the game pause. I don't really want to worry about that. Pause game, menu navigation is on that side. Toggle the menu or game controls hold that down to make that happen. Grab is there. Uh, hide control. So we're just gonna, that's not the right button. This might be. Is, do I have to actually recenter through this? That would be really awkward. I don't think so. Uh, okay. used to be on pressing the stick buttons, and it is not anymore. I can move forward a little bit to make this work, but I am going to have to look up how to recenter properly. All right. Um, so here we go. This is going to be a lot like the original game. Sorry about the delay. Let's get right on to the actual gameplay of this. Um, this is going to be a lot like the original game. It's just grabbing handholds, but I'm not going to go ahead and describe it other than what I'm doing. So I'm pulling the trigger to close my hand around a, a surface. And so I'm just going hand over hand and moving myself up. It's pretty straightforward. Hand over hand. You've reached the save point. If you fall, you will always restart at the last save point you activated. Okay. Some grips can only be reached by jumping. To do this, look in the direction you want to jump and press the jump button. You might need to reach out to hold on to another grip. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do it this way because it's asking me to. Uh, 
Okay. But I don't actually like doing kind of jump. You can also jump by looking in the direction you want to leap, ah. and then quickly pushing yourself off from the wall. Release the hand you've pushed with, and reach out with the other hand to hold on to another grip. That's the way I would like to Very good. You made it. Now I just hand over hand. Place so both hands on the ledge, and pull yourself up by pushing both controllers down at the same time. There we go. Well done. At a checkpoint, the timer is paused until you are ready to continue. You can check how much time has passed on your watch. Sweet. Okay, now let's talk about stamina and chalk. Let's do that. The amount of stamina for each hand is displayed on the hand itself. Look at the stamina indicator to continue. Oh, there we go. There's our stamina indicator. Hold on to the grip with one hand until your stamina is fully depleted. Okay. If you hold on to a grip with one hand, that hand loses stamina, while your free hand regains stamina. If you hold on with both hands, both regain stamina. You can increase your total stamina by chalking your hands. To chalk your hands, hold the chalk trigger on the controller and twist your wrist. A sound will inform you when you're done. Oh, in this case it's less of a shake, more of a twist, okay. Chalk depletes every time you grab a grip, so make sure to re-chalk your hands often. Now press the hint button to see your next route. You can do this anytime you get lost. Okay, pass. Okay, let's continue. Wow, that was quite a ways. Here we go. So it's On still... some grips, you can slide down. You will fall off at the end, though, and sometimes you might need to jump in time to reach the next grip. Uh... Oh, interesting. This is a new mechanic. All right. So one of the things I was noticing when I was back here is grasping around a corner does auto-turn you. So that mechanism, they haven't changed. You can't pull yourself around a corner except by literally twisting your body, which I guess kind of makes sense, right? So I turned to face this direction and then let go. Yeah. So you don't really want to twist your body a whole lot in this game. And, um, I don't know. I still think they should have done something more interesting with that, but I guess I shouldn't spend the rest of this series complaining about that. So, okay. Uh-oh. That is definitely a new mechanic. Also, that would build up a lot of friction on the hand. But... Okay, move back to my original position. Well, that'd be great. Where is my original position? It wouldn't help me to uh, say that if you don't give me an indicator on the floor. Okay. So it's not much of a floor, is it? It's just a gaping white void. Okay, uh, I've got to, oh god, okay, I've got to jump to get up to there. You also lose stamina by jumping or falling. Yes, you do. Okay, hand over hand, that's all I'm doing. Look, I'm getting sweaty, right? So let's try this. If I wiggle a hand, that worked. Ooh, but you can't re-chalk your hands early. That's interesting. Sometimes it's a good idea to grab with both hands above your head. Climb across these bars to get to the other side. Okay. You may need to stretch your arms a little further to do so. Now here's the head in object mechanic. So they've kept that. I don't know if I like that, but they may not have had a really good choice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The further your hands are from your body, the more stamina you use. Can I grab? I can. I can grab the back side of it. Now. In is. some places, you can use a zip line to cross larger gaps. Okay. Grab both handles to set it in motion. If you let go with one hand, the zip line stops. Remember, holding with only one hand drains your stamina. 
Checkpoint is getting close. All right, hand over hand. I like that this test environment, to some degree, takes well done. Uh, Let's take a small break before continuing. Takes away from, takes away the sort of. Let's talk about grips now. There are different kinds of grips that affect climbing in different ways. Crumbling grips break off after you grab them, so make sure to pass them as quickly as you can. Yes, I don't like these at all, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, okay. Oh, look, that one's possibly slightly breaking. Yeah, that is. All right. Uh, I was saying a little earlier on that uh, they've taken away the beautiful vistas of uh, the first game for the sake of this tutorial, which I guess I kind of did in the tutorial of, of the of uh, the first game anyway um, and that's actually a good thing because it, it sort of keeps you focused on the climbing but it is actually still kind of neat anyway let's climb oh i did not realize those were also breakable so let's all right so grab grab grab, grab. It looks like this is a dead end but don't worry, you can rewind yourself to get back to the last checkpoint. All right. Let's use the rewind button to go back. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, so that's the rewind. Okay. Very good. You made it. But remember, you can only rewind once per climb. Okay, let's continue. You can maintain stamina by using the half press technique. Look at the half press indicator and slowly press the grip trigger down halfway to max. When it turns blue, you are in the ideal range. Yep. Look at the indicators on your hands and slowly press the grip trigger. Yep. Okay. Let's continue. Hold on to this technical grip with a half press for a few seconds. It's not what they call it. A technical grip. I can I can work with that. There we go. Great job. Half press is not required to climb, but if you master this technique, you can climb without chalking. You can try this out again on the next grips. Technical be... grips drain your stamina more quickly than normal grips. You can use the half press technique here to maintain your stamina. I remember some of the climbs in the original game being almost impossible without a half grip. In fact, some of them I never even bothered trying. Super useful to be able to hang here for a long time. Oh, all right. So let's. Learn to do that half press all the way up. You can. Some grips are dirty, down. and you have to clean them before grabbing them. To clean a grip, reach out and hold the grip button in range. Once clean, your hand will grab the grip automatically. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure they did that in the original. They might have made you re grab after cleaning, but that's all right. I, I, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but you'll notice that I actually used the half grip technique on the lower hand while I was doing that because otherwise while I'm brushing it I would run out of stamina. Oh, and yeah, see if I don't Now it's it's always okay to grab with two hands. You don't lose any stamina in that But as I hand off I definitely want to Go to the half grab Oh, and I can actually brush with that. I mean, I think that's starting to get a little bit... Some grips bit have bad. sharp edges. Gripping a sharp edge affects your vision and drains a lot of stamina all at once. Great. While gripping a sharp-edged grip, the hand holding it cannot regain stamina. Okay, so... Half trigger. Okay, look at that. So I don't know if this was true in the original. It certainly wasn't described that way. But I don't know what that plus means. But 
Um, I may not be able to recover stamina, but I can hold indefinitely, so. Ah! But notice, as uh, I can't recover stamina on that hand, I can on this one. So take the stamina hit, but hold it to half trigger and let the other hand recover. Ah! Okay, this is making this far more interesting as a technical climb. Again, that may have been... Congratulations! Uh, you have successfully finished the tutorial. That may have been the case in the original game, that you could technically hold one of the, uh, the thorny ledges, um, which are the equivalent, uh, indefinitely. I never tried it, so it doesn't matter. I'm in this game now. So let's get right on and do, uh, sure, we've uh, achieved an unlock, yes, yes, don't care. Uh, hit continue. So we're not going to do the tutorial, we're going on to the Alps, I guess is the next one. Uh, we're definitely not doing professional, we're going to start on easy, we're just going to work our way through this. Now, uh, so what's here, play without chalk and stamina, but also without any score. Play with chalk and, sca and stamina. Most achievements can be unlocked. Well, I already know how to use chalk and stamina. I would totally encourage anybody playing this for the first time, just go with casual and just enjoy your travel up the mountain and explore the space. Uh, but I've been doing the original climb anyway for so long um, that, uh, that I feel like I can go straight on to professional. Uh, I'm not going to get great scores, but I kind of like the additional technique. Recenter the camera by holding down the Oculus button. Okay, so I was maybe doing that wrong. Interesting, they had it on the on the, the trigger press before. So if I just tap it, I end up here. Uh, if I hold it down. Oh. Oh, because that triggers the universal centering for okay, dumb. I'm dumb. Um, alright. Oh, this is exciting. I have never been. Have I been on this mountain? Is this just a brand new brand new Alps mountain? Looks vaguely vaguely similar to the ones that I already did, but uh, I honestly don't know. Maybe they've recycled mountains? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's just get on with it. This is a lot of fun. So we're just going hand over hand. Just having fun with it. I do oh, uh, I mean, uh, going down doesn't get us anywhere, that's just another way to Would jump up to there. I probably could. But I've done a checkpoint there. Now this this I could screw up, so I'm gonna chalk my hand. Okay. <gasps> nope. Ah, nope. Ah! All right. I'm gonna fail a lot of times because I'm gonna be experimenting a little bit here. So let's uh, let's try that again. Let's turn my body a little. Pre-prepare my grip. Oh, yes! Yes, you can! You can totally do that, and that's exactly why they put that where they did. Um, okay. I could go up and over, and I'll do that on a, on a different climb. I'm going under this time. Oh, how delightful. This is marvelous. Marvelous! Uh, oh, this is beautiful. We've got quite a variety of handholds here. We can actually take a chimney up to here. I'm just climbing all over this mountain because it's fun. Hello. Oh. God, no, no, no. Now my problem there was that I grabbed with one hand, I was I tried to reach over to grab with the other hand, but I couldn't get a grip, and in the meantime my stamina was running out and I wasn't doing the half the, the, the technical grip. Um, kind of thing. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. Okay. I gotta be less stupid about that. If I'm gonna hold on for a second, I gotta remember to go to the half grip so that I can stay there essentially forever while I figure out, oh, like right there. You, the, the temptation is just to grab, it's fascinating, just to grab the, um, uh, it, with a full trigger. Can I reach down and 
That is not a lip I can grab. That's why I'm con I was confused. All right, that's fine. That looks like a grab, but isn't. Oh, that's a phony, phony bit of lighting there. Boo! All right, that's totally fine. All right, so now, um, leaning out, like I'm literally leaning back here. I think I just have to go straight up. Now, I obviously got a fine, a, a sort of a collectible. The original game had that too, sort of areas that secrets were hidden if you were to just go exploring enough. And they're fun to find because it, it just takes you playing. Now, I don't know where the intended direction for this is, but I do know that my hand needs to try to solve that problem. Here we go. Just doing full trigger pulls because they're fast. Take a look around here. So there's another uh, another thing to find. So the question is, though. So there's a couple of things I can grab and another checkpoint. But where did that other route come from? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to request. I can't remember what the direction button is. Uh, so they suggest I go down and over. But then the question is, where does that road come from? It must come from another way to get up here. So I went, I went up that side and then across underneath, and then I went up and over. Where does that come from? Because I don't think I meant to go that way. I think I meant to, maybe there's an alternate route. Boy, that's interesting. I may just have to go and take a look, despite the fact that it's a silly thing to go look for. Alright, here we go. Ha half trigger pull, the half puck, I call it half puck. It's, it gets technical grip, but I'm never going to stop calling it the half puck. Alright, here we go. And I overshot it a little there. I want to get down there. over in that other direction. Plus, I also have this one. Now, this may end up taking me backwards along the route, but the nice thing about this game is you can totally do that. Absolutely nothing stopping you from going absolutely all over the flipping mountain just to see under there? I don't think so, but let's... No. No, I'm just going to clear it. Alright. Come on. It's not entirely clear to me when I can and can't chalk, but I'll figure it out. We can go up. Oh, that's where that came from. Duh, I'm stupid. Because if I if I come off of the beginning and instead of going under, I went over, then I would have ended up here. Well, I don't actually want to get that checkpoint down because that'll just checkpoint me further away than where I need to be. So let's just stand over him and get back to where I'm supposed to be. A little bit of exploration. So now I know where that other route uh, went to. I'll do it that route again another time. That's totally cool. stretch that was. Oh, oh, interesting. Uh, in order to get the chalking to occur, I have to make sure that I'm not already pulling down on the, uh, on that grip trigger, which I have a natural tendency to do. I don't, I don't like that, uh, but I guess it stops false chalking. I don't know why that would be a crisis. I am now going. Uh, we're going up somewhere. 
I'm pretty sure that uh, Chateau and the lower environment here are from the original game. It's still very pretty, though. Alright, here we go. Hey, guys. But uh, they're a little anemic, particularly in the graphics department, particularly when we're talking VR. Now, this game has the advantage that it actually runs entirely on uh, on device, which means I could, you know, take this quest on a trip, this quest too on a trip, and I can play this game. And it does remarkably well. It's very visually appealing for a game that's running entirely on device. Kind of an impressive bit. Never, I would never be able to do this in real life. I have no, no qualms about the fact that I am not in anywhere good enough shape to do this in real life. Uh, I guess I'm going down, and that requires a drop. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is go to half buck, pre-grab with my hand, and then drop. Ah! <coughs> yep. No, and it says go either way. Well, we're going to go... We're going to go this way. Um, sorry, anyway. Going to upgrade my machine. So, um, I'm going to see what I can do about doing it piecemeal. Uh, rather than buying a whole new break. Because I think I can do that. And one of my tests will be to play VR games that are run using the Quest, but being driven graphically from the PC. Now, that's the way they... Um, the original Rift works and the Rift S. It's the, um, the way the original Vive works. I had those up on the uh, for work purposes. And um, and it is uh, actually uh, really cool when you can generate the visuals off a of PC if you got a really beefy PC um, because they typically will be able to graphically outperform this quest uh, if they're. Well, that's not true. You have to have a beefy machine to do it. But it means that you can use all the tracking features of the, uh, of the Quest. Of the Quest 2. Uh, with controllers and etc. Cetera, et cetera, that have your visuals uh, far more performant, which I'd really like to Just to see what this is capable of um, when it's being run by a more powerful um, rendering agent, right? Um, got a couple things I'd like to try with that. And one of the things that I think would be really fascinating is to try a couple of uh, VR games that I have access to both um, both on the PC and versions on the Quest. Um, so there's a few of those titles that I can actually test out. It'll be interesting to do a comparison. One of which is this one. I would be really interested to see if there is a PC running <laughs> VR version of this game. What the difference is visually. You know, change of hands there. Um, I think this is the way I'm going to go. Well, the audio in this game is quite nice too. Alright. This does get the arms moving. Upper body stuff. I mean, yes, I'm only holding controllers. No, I'm not holding my body against a rock. I'd never be able to do that in real life. But you know what? Um, you do this often enough and fast enough, it'll give you a decent idea. Um, but, you know. Uh, oh god, do I have to make a jump up to there? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Alright. I'm probably gonna fall from this, but... Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I meant to go the other way? Let's find out. 
I am. I'm actually going backwards. So that's cool. I have <laughs> I've done a thing backwards. Uh, and that's a shame, because you can grab forwards, you can't grab backwards, and that's something that always irritated me on the original game. Ooh, it swims. Okay, that part's cool. Um, it always annoyed me that I couldn't grab the things just as I wanted. Like, for example, if I wanted to go backwards on this, I would have to hand over hand backwards. Now, that's, that's kind of a cool challenge, but why break, why break the immersion by only allowing it to be grabbed from Developers, this was a mistake. I, I'm sorry, I just did. Um, and I can't imagine tagging this with the ability to grip from either direction would have been that much of an issue. But you know, maybe. Um, but that's that's just my take on that. Yeah, other, you know, other than that quibble, um, like I have very few quibbles. <laughs> I just think that that would have been a cheap, cheap win for going anywhere you like. You can go anywhere you like on most of the rest of it. Not like that. Like reorientation. I was a Where? Tiring on the arm. All right. I think part of the reason why I was having issues with that abrupt turn is, again, I had turned my body, um, which is perfectly fine, because you turn your body just to get a look around. But if you don't recenter yourself to the way you're facing, then turns get abrupt, because it likes you to face a canonical direction. Um, so that was partially So let's look, let's get a good look around. I think. Alright. Oh, okay, that's a little scary. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, it's overhead. Grab. Grab. The problem if you don't do it way over your head. Um, then your head clips it and then you get that sort of black screen. So you really do have to keep your head up. Which which focus. Alright, here we go. And which is they made that fling action I think a little bit better since the original game. Um, definitely knowing to direct your gaze. That's what happened there. I really wish they had a different way to do that mechanic. But it's not terrible. And actually, one thing it's all is the twister. So instead of just going to one hand, oh my god, that's a bit Because I, I really do feel like I'm over like a, you know, a 500 foot drop on the, on the rock. It, you know, this is one thing, whoops. This is one thing you don't get a sense of when you're watching this on the TV screen. I mentioned it in the game before. Is of course you don't get the stereo the stereoscopic projection. You don't get the two eyes looking at you. You don't get the three D. And so all I can all I can all I can do is um, like look around and show you some of the parallax of the you know, back and forth. And that gives you a sense of depth. But being here, I feel like I'm hanging out over a chasm instead of standing in front of my heart. Uh, floor. <laughs> so, that's fun. So one of the tricks you can do to get around these uh, more easily is to actually twist your whole body, um, which means you get just bigger reach. It's sort of like doing the Tarzan thing, right? Twist and reach. Except this is going to require. So here we go. And look, that wasn't so bad. Anything around the corner here? No, and there's that lower ledge that I was climbing across earlier. Oh, of course, the little right here. So. Uh, that. Again, I want to see if they have a PC version. A uh, PC VR version. Now. I don't want to bump over, so let's do oh, hello. Hey, buddy. How are you? You are super cute. Oh. 
Okay, I, I love this game a lot. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in here. Oh, oh god. Uh, grab, grab. Oh, jeez. Oh, Almost ran out of stamina because I was trying to grab here and not for some reason. Being able to. Now, I would love... Like, wouldn't it be neat if they augmented enough of this so you could totally free climb in more play? Free climb mode, where you didn't have the white marks, but almost every surface, like all the edges were grabbable, so you could literally go anywhere. Climb three, guys. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, there we go. Like a full free climb. Do geometric analysis of the rock edges to just auto-tag everything. Uh, can we down? Is there a down? No, that just that's just if you're coming along the lower section. So let's just leg up here. Chain up. Carabiner up. I gotta keep doing this and talking on the screen to make sure that it's fine. Apologize to all actual clients. To admit it would be neat to try to do this in real life if I could get over that sensation of if I screw up I die. <laughs> um, I mean I know you can make things like that you know safer and safer as you become more knowledgeable but I don't know if, I don't know if I can trust myself that much. Hi, buddy. That's a nice thing. But again, I can't grab this from the other side. There's, and there's just, there's just no reason for it. This thing to the handrails. Body twisting. Whoa, a little bit of sliding was a little spooky. Thanks for that. Ah! Got a little bit of a panic there. Oh, God. Uh, okay, that's a thing. direction, but I know we had a, a heart down there, so we can grab that. Inside, we have one inside the cave. Okay, and overhand, no major uh, crises here. Oh, this is a lovely long pond. Absolutely adorable. Not hard, it's only got a few technical bits to it, but it's got some legs to it, which means I can see all the sight. Check that out. Oh, hello. Oh, so I could have come around from that side instead. So I'm this is technically going backwards, but I want to see if there's any um any collectibles over here. Let's just do that. That's fine. So now I know where that route goes to. I move hand. I'm faster now because I'm more comfortable with the poles again. Alright, so.
<laughs> All right. Uh, oh, it's we did it inside last time. We'll go inside this time. I'm gonna have to do these more than once. So you might see me uh, on several screens doing a repeat. But then again, it's my stream and I can do what I like. Oh, hello. Okay. And over here. Oh. Uh, there's definitely enough holds on here though. So you could take any trip, you, any uh, any route that you happen that happened to take your fancy, uh, using as many leaps or as many technical moves as you care to experience. Like they haven't they haven't uh, skimped on it in this game anymore. They had last time. They've got they usually got more than one primary route. And as you can see, they literally littered that uh, with paths up. You don't have to use every handful. You can get a technical move. The interesting is they color coded them more for difficulty, even on the rock face, kind of like they do with rocks. Like this. Okay. It's a big skybox, and it's pretty. And it still feels like a bit of a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's uh, continue. Oh, I'm happy with that. that. That felt good. 22 minutes now. European beginner. Sure, that's fine. So, play again, continue. We are going to continue. Uh, we're going to go back into the Alps. Now, so, here's an interesting thing. Should we do... Let's actually do... We're going to go... I could go easies on a whole bunch of them. But I'm going to go easy, medium, hard if I'm allowed to. Um, because I'm pretty sure I could probably handle the hards. And if I can't, I can skip them. That means we focus on a region. I might do all three of these in one run. Or at least two of them in one run. Uh, one night. One what is those words? I can English. And um, uh, that way uh, we experience something slightly new. I don't know. That's, that's the reasoning behind that excuse. Me now. But we're going to do this anyway. This is what I'm choosing to do. Professional sleep. Let's just get on with it. We're going to do another one. Onward and upward. Failed, that failed, and I hurt my arm. Ow. <laughs> Injure myself on a virtual rock. <laughs> way less. That's clearly the way I was meant to do it. Oh, more that way. Uh, just looking around. I think, okay, that's fine. Let them just get out then. for any other collectibles used to have at the end. I think that's a breakable, so we're not going to mess with that. Okay, so... I can't go... I have to go under the end of the map. That's fine. There we go. Oops, since a few drop turns, I think that takes me around corners. Okay. Now, on the bigger mountains like this, the more complex mountains, the routes get far more, far more diverse. Like, I can go around that outside edge, or I can go around that outside edge. Let's try to go for the ladder. 
I don't know though, that trip over the waterfall is really cool. No, nope. you know what? I'm gonna do the waterfall. So. Let's chalk up. And. Whoa! Ah! I didn't flame myself up enough. I guess that wasn't considered a flame. Alright, trying that again. So that's why it's actually pivoting. do actually if I actually land on the surface. That's one of those situations by the way. Again, uh, climb three guys. I want to be able to stand on there and make my own judgment call when we walk off. There we go. I could actually go to there and there's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> yep, got it. Not on this trip. Uh, not, I guess. <laughs> I'm good at this. The throw mechanics a bit more. As well it should be. Um, that's a weird angle. Again, you can grab this, but then why would you because it's weird to go? Super interesting. Uh, maybe I can get all the way up. <laughs> yes, I can. Ooh. Oh, and that's good. They did allow gri grips, the grips on the lower and upper section of pine beams. So it's a positive win there. That's going to lead around from the other side. Should we go take a look with it? Because I am curious and there might be a course of And I'm not in this story. Uh, there, uh, there's no grippable anywhere along there, so it's a really weird. I can totally do backwards.
those going backwards on these might actually be just as problematic as going backwards on the ladders because you're not allowed to grip them. You might not be able to, uh, to grip them backwards, but we'll try it, so. Still playing around with this a little bit. Oh, I lied. I totally lied. They actually got this one right. So that's where the other road came from. All right, time to go forward. <coughs> that was that was very nearly tragic. Hand over hand and and follow me. But that got me here anyway. So just uh, quickly book it back over. No shortcuts or interesting directions here yet. Oh, come on, come on, crap. More recenter the camera. All right. Let's recenter the camera. Okay, actually, let's do that again. Recenter. Here we go. Keeping your body in the center of your room, whilst also uh, keeping the game centered, uh, remembering that's your center, means that you don't smack into your walls and you're flailing your arms around like a complete unit. Grab that with left, right, and then left. Right, try it. Okay. Oh, here we go. We have to drop down to get that one. Also on right here. Right. And up. 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 There's a serious calisthenic workout going on here.
You have got to be kidding. You have simply got... Oh, okay, okay. Bananas. I'm suggesting we go that way. Uh, is that a sh that I guess it's a shortcut I could go around that way. I don't know. This one I'm gonna have to do more than once. I'm not gonna backtrack on all of that. I've already done one major bit of backtrack. Hard in the arms. Hard. There somewhere. Not gonna go double check. Brain is melting up as it is. I can't reach that. Way. So. Uh, all right. I don't know. Like I could go that way and climb directly up to sea, or I could go maybe. That way and go zip line. Now the bifurcation is getting big enough that I just can't explore all. Of it. This one looks kind of fun. So, that was more than I intended to do, but okay. When you want to do really short leaps, it's not really clear how to do that. Ah! Let's bypass that together. Reaching over. <laughs> you can already think of an interesting uh, challenge you could set yourself as to try to play this game one handed. You literally have to leap between all of them. Definitely a line I could have taken, but I ended up not taking. All right, let's uh, switch hands. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I could go down there and maybe grab the line. So I fling myself a little harder, but I'm gonna stare at the spot I want to go to. Oh, oh. That's tricky, because it's not clear how to control how much you jump. I did too weak the first time. I try for the second time to overshoot even though I was looking at it. But I managed to get it there. I wonder if there's a technique if I'm going in the right way. Yeah. Except that 
it's going to be actually hard to get. Almost there. Oh, rope. This is a new mechanic. Of which I'm totally in favor. That's enough. Oh, hey. Oh, that's a little. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, I really want to try this in the in the Turkey version. See if they uh, see if they did anything different. I'm pretty sure the original climb came out on the rift. I could be wrong. I'd have to check the time. Um, in which case, it would have been PC driven at the time, and you would have required a beefy machine to uh, to use it at the time. Pretty beefy anyway. Um, and going to a uh, to the quest. The original quest standalone, anyway, would have been a significant downgrade. Quest selection. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Um, this has been uh, a fantastic experience, and I am going to say I'm kind of done for the evening. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this has been... Oh, yeah.